All right, folks, got done with uh, turn seven's movement phase. Uh, we're able to move a couple guys over here, a couple goblins, and the wizards were able to advance. And that goblin right there is in between the woods. He advanced. A couple of these I lost courage tests, so they got moved around. But uh, other than that, kind of, almost kind of, I wish we'd have some battles for you folks, but it, it's getting there. We're getting towards the um, bad part, because as you see, where the goblins are all kind of spread out, so he's going to have a long way to get back home. I'm probably gonna, back to, out. Yeah, I'm probably going to be raising the alarm after I get out done with that, because on my way back, there's going to be too many people in my right. way, so just no. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and roll for a turn. This eight. was six, seven. I eight. think we're on either seven or eight. Eight. So yeah. turn eight, uh, Sorry, host, if you think that's priority. Seven, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. But, okay. Ooh, All right. I want it this time. So I'll move my goblins, and we'll see if I can raise alarm before we can get to the last platform. See you then. Welcome back, folks. Vortex Mike, and we have done our movement phase for turn eight. Yeah, turn I eight. So, yeah. Um, got this goblin within three inches, and yet another one. I threw another one. So, did not raise the alarm, so they just ran up to the, uh, the wizards, got up to the last platform. Uh, also, this goblin lost his curse chest. He's over there by the woods. These both lost them, so they're moved around. I didn't move any of these uh, other goblins over here. So, he's going to go ahead and roll to... Um, mm -hmm. Roll for his uh, in the shooting phase because he wants to search. So he's gonna One roll. One or two. 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 Okay. So he's gonna roll the two Let's dice. One and a five. Uh, so six. six. So he's got. It. So he only has four left to search this out. So we'll go ahead and roll for initiative. No, I, um, whatever it's called, yeah. Okay, so he won initiative, so that basically means, of course, he doesn't really want to move off the platform because until he searches his next shoot phase. So we'll see you in turn nine's uh, movement phase after turn nine's movement phase. Welcome back, folks. This is uh, turn nine's Nine. uh, movement phase. <laughs> uh, got a goblin up here next to Gandalf and Ragas. Mm -hmm. They moved from there over there, and I rolled another one. For the fourth time. That just sucks. <laughs> I got so this goblin one. up there. He's not within range. Uh, moved that goblin. And I left these six goblins over here. So he's neglect. He's elected to roll the two dice. One for each wizard. And we'll see if he fully searched this. He's got six. All he needs is four. Don't vote for me now. Okay, yes. so you got the four. Exactly four. That was it good. Fully searched. So it's fully searched. Now you can move off the uh, platform without worrying about it. We're going to go ahead and roll for initiative for turn 10. I got five. You got four. I can't use anything for that, can I? Nope. nope. So uh, you can't use anything. The only person is the goblin scribe that can uh, get the... Uh, and Initiative roll to change. So, turn. we're going into turn 10. It's movement phase. I'll go ahead and move my goblins. Hopefully, I can roll. Actually, I don't even need to. All I got to do is roll for this uh, guy over there. And then all these guys become alive. Or, well, not alive. I mean, they don't become goblin sentries anymore. So, see you back at, turn, at the end of turn 10's movement phase. All right, folks. Got done with our movement phase of turn 10. This goblin was able to raise the alarm, but he wasn't able to charge for because he failed his courage test against the terror. Terror, uh, Gandalf and Radgast both charged this goblin. They're gonna get him out of the way. He's only one guy. Got this goblin over here. Nice. There we go. It's kind of got, got that goblin over there. I moved a couple of the goblins around, kind of sp spreading them out. So. Now that uh, since the goblin uh, alarm has raised, I moved them all around like normal. 
Um, so in the rules that at the end of each evil move, at the end of each evil player's movement phase, there we go. <laughs> I roll two dice and I get that many golems. If I roll doubles, the golem king. And it comes at any edge of the board I choose. Wait, so if you even roll a one, you can get a goblin back. So, right. just, so, so just how many ever you roll, just gonna right. black two dice. So okay. we're going to go ahead and uh, sell this duel right here, and we'll show you the results. And then we'll continue on, and we'll roll for initiative, see who gets an initiative in turn 11. So we'll go do a fight face for turn 10 right now. All right, folks, got done with uh, turn 10's uh, duel here, and the goblin lost, and the wizards won. But they both weren't able to strike him, so he's still standing. Uh, so that's pretty much the end of uh, turn 10's fight phase. Um, we didn't have any magic phase during this. We're going to go ahead and roll for initiative. A roll. I got four. And he got five. So good gets uh, the movement priority, and we'll go ahead and let him move, and we'll see you in turn 11. Welcome back, folks. We get, just got done with uh, turn 10's, uh, turn 11's movement phase. Oh, uh, I just told you that twice. So, <laughs> we, uh, the goblins over here, the goblin that was uh, on the, the one that they were in battle with, there oh we go. God. He uh, casted uh, Sorcerer's Blast with Gandalf and knocked him into the trees, which he suffered a strength 6 hit, so... He got taken out, and then he moved his um, wizards over here. I moved my goblin off the platform to engage Radagast, and Gandalf's engaging, um, Some goblin. engaging the other goblin. I moved a couple of goblins over here. At the end of the moment phase, I rolled two sixes. Yeah, blasting eyes. And right. over here, yeah, there he is. The goblin king is now in play. So definitely, and I chose to put him over there for obvious reasons. Yeah, so when I get to the starting line, you can at least attack me. So definitely, there. they're going to have a long way of battles to go through. So uh, we're going to go ahead and resolve this turn 11 uh, fight right here. There's two duels. And then after the two duels, we will um, show you the results. And then we'll roll for initiative for turn 12. See you then. All right, got done with uh, turn 11's uh, fight phase. Fight phase, and one goblin got killed. Red guess round expended what, his last might point, and Gandalf lost the duel, but uh, got miss the goblin missed him, and we're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative for turn 12. I rolled a four. He rolled a four. And you got it last time. Yeah, I think. Yes, you got you it You moved time. first, so I move now. No, I thought you moved last time. I don't nope. know. This is an up for discussion. You moved. You moved first. So I, I move. Uh, no, yeah, you did. Didn't you? Nope. No. I, oh, yeah, I moved first. Yep. Okay. This, All right. So I, I get a move since it was a tie. And uh, after the movement phase for the evil, we'll see how many goblins I get back into the mix. All right, got done with uh, turn 12's movement phase. This goblin passed his courage chest, so he charged both the wizards before they could do anything about it. So they're engaged in combat. I uh, got two of these goblins moving up, and I moved the goblin king and a couple of the goblins up. So he can't move, so we're basically going to roll now to see what reinforcements we get. So I get four, two and two, four. So we'll uh, put them where I need them to put, and we'll go ahead and uh, do. Oops. 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 We'll go ahead and uh, there you are right there, so. do the fight face for turn twelve and show you the results, and see you then. All right, folks, got done with uh, turn 12's fight phase. Uh, the goblin lost the duel and was uh, slain by gandalf which used his last That's might point. point so they're both the wizards are both down to zero uh of course we advanced the uh goblins as you saw we're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative oh, ooh, uh, oh you gotta die okay, okay. wait just, just one, one. Die. okay yeah let's get that all right so 
Four. Okay, so you roll the four. You roll I roll the five. five. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the uh, goblins, and then I'll show you uh, how many. We'll do our movement phase, and then we'll roll to see how many goblins I get into the game. All right, welcome back, folks. It's turn thirteen, movement phase. As you see, uh, as you see, we got some movement of uh, the goblins. And Gandalf and Radagast are making a hasty retreat via the walkway and probably towards around the forest, which is fine. We will meet them at the end. So we're at the end of uh, all the Muller phase. Uh, oh, Radagast did try to use his free uh, will point using the Staff of Power to cast Immobilize on that uh, Goblin, and he failed. Doesn't have any more right points, so he couldn't change it. So I'm going to go ahead and roll for um, how many goblins I get and I will be getting back 11 11 goblins so I'll yeah. place them throughout where I want them on the board and I will do that and we'll roll for initiative here in the next video alright folks just got done um, placing my goblins I put a couple over there and a couple over there and a couple over there. Uh, I did realize that I said 11, which I really couldn't do because you're only allowed 20 in this uh, battle. Doesn't say you can keep on getting. That's the limit. So I got 20 goblins out right now, plus the goblin king. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative. See who gets initiative. I rolled a two. Uh, and he rolled off the board, so we'll let him roll again. That really sucked. I'm sorry. A five, I think. A five, I can't really see it. Is that a he five? rolled okay. a five. Yeah. So, okay, good. good gets priority in the next phase. Turn 14. We're going to 14. Turn 14. So, I'll see you in the uh, after we're done movement phase of turn 14. All right, folks, got done with turn 14's movement phase. The goblins over here are spread out a little bit. Goblin King and these goblins are advancing in the middle. Uh, Radgas and Gandalf are in duel with a single goblin. And they got one coming from the back from the rear or from behind them. And in front of them they got another goblin advancing. So right now kind of spreading the forces. I did uh, get these guys over in the corner. Started moving them out. So, they're starting to move. So, alright. We're done with uh, 14's moving phase. We're going to go ahead and do uh, the duel here and show you the results. And then roll for initiative for turn four 15. See you then. Alright, folks. Got done with the fight phase over here. Uh, of course, the golem was slain. And Gandalf and... Rad gaps are right here. We're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative. I got a three. He got, got a one. one. So I win the initiative in that. So I'll go and move my guys, and then at the end of my movement turn, we'll roll to see how many uh, golems I get back. I'll let him do his movement, and then I'll roll. But, of course, I can only get one back so far. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and move our guys and see you in... This is turn 15, 15 so we'll see 15. him in an attack phase. We have attack phase in turn 15. Well, we got to show them the results of movement phase. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you then. All right, folks, got done with uh, turn uh, 15's movement phase. Goblins over there are staying where they're at, standing guard. Goblin King and these two goblins are uh, slowly making their way across... Over here, Radgast, the Brown, and Gandalf are engaging with two uh, goblins. While the four goblins there in the corner, they have advanced. So we'll go ahead and do the tech phase for round 15, and we'll see, show you the results after we're done. All right, folks, got done with uh, round uh, 15s or turn 15s. I don't know why I'm calling it rounds. Not boxing. Uh, turn 15s um, fight phase ended up in. Basically a draw. I won the uh, battle against Radagast. Missed. And Gandalf won his. And he missed. So basically stuck over here. No magic was cast in the last one. Although the uh, sorcerers do have some 
good magic also over here nothing really going on over here and yeah my son went downstairs so we'll go ahead and roll for uh, initiative when he gets back and we'll see you in turn 16 alright folks we got done with uh, we did the initiative off uh, site I or off uh, camera I got a 5 he got a 3 then we moved everyone I used a will point for the Goblin King so right. he was able to move our my point mm -hmm. so he was able to move the 8 inches I got the uh, two goblins ahead of here and I got these goblins advancing and Radagast the Brown and Gandalf are engaged in yet another lock both did not use any magic at all and uh, so they're stuck in a battle so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the duel and we'll see you in uh, show you the results of uh, turn 15's um, fight phase. Alright folks got done with round 15's fight phase. Uh, Gandalf was able to slay his uh, goblin. Ragas round uh, won his duel but was unable to uh, hit the goblin so definitely uh, nothing going on there and we're gonna go ahead and roll for an initiative. He got a six, I got a two. Ha, so uh, Good has uh, won the initiative for turn 16's move phase. So we're going to go ahead and move our guys and show you where we put them. All right, folks, done with, uh, we just got done with our move phase of turn 16. Uh, Gandalf and Radgast moved, and then they uh, both hit this, both of these goblins, so they weren't able to move with Immobilize, so they can't move. Goblin King, of course, is magically resistant, so they really can't really do anything against him. He used a heroic uh, move, and now he has charged into uh, Gandalf. And so we're going to go ahead and do the fight phase for turn 16 and show you the results. See you then. All right, folks, got done with uh, round turn 16's uh, fight phase. Radgast the Brown, I chose uh, Hurl because I won the duel. So I hurled Gandalf through um, Radagast and he uh, got injured, got wounded. Amazingly, uh, Gandalf passed through him and hit a tree and was able to survive. So good for Gandalf, he's still back in action. So uh, my son has decided not to uh, use his uh, fake point. Which is uh, understandable because of uh, renew the magic during the movement phase. He can just stand them up. Now, so what happens, they're both knock prone. So during the movement phase, even if he wins initiative, they both just stand up. And I'm still able to charge them. So we're going to go ahead and roll for our initiative phase why right now. Roll, why are we going to even roll for an initiative you if have to I roll. just stand them up? Because you don't want me to attack them prone. Because that's bad. Okay, oh, cool. he got one. I got a two. Well, I so the outcome of this battle. We'll go ahead and uh, do the uh, fight phase, and we'll show you the end of that. All right, folks, got done with uh, the fight phase here, and uh, Radgas actually won. He was lucky, nailed a six, and was able to uh, win the duel. So he got himself back up on his feet, and he's facing against the Goblin King. We're gonna go ahead and roll for. Turn 17's um, initiative. initiative. Whoa, okay, wait. both got a two, got so yep, yeah, he'll be able to uh, move now, and we'll see you then after the movement phase. Okay, folks, we are uh, engaged in our fight phase. We already did our movement phase and moved a couple of goblins, but uh, mainly the Goblin King and Radgast the Brown. Oh, Redgrass Round used his Renew, uh, cast a Renew on himself and got his wound taken off of him. So that's pretty good of him. Uh, so both uh, Wizards are fully powered. We're going to go against uh, the Goblin King in the fight phase and we'll show you the results after we're done. Alright folks, got done with the round turn 17's this tech is phase. This is really um... Boxing. Gandalf and Radgast lost the duel. Radgast was chucked to the tree, suffered a wound, 
and Gandalf was hit three times and he suffered a wound. I uh, used his fate point which he's down to two and they both have two wounds each. We'll roll for uh, initiative. Oops. Why are we rolling you, for initiative? You got one. I got four. So I'll move my guys and let him move his. See you in the next phase. Alright folks got done with the move phase for turn 18. Um, Goblin King is engaged in combat with Gandalf. I moved a couple goblins over here and Radagast stood up. So we're going to go ahead and do the fight phase and we'll show you the results after that. Alright, we're done with the uh, fight phase here and uh, Gandalf lost the duel against the Goblin King and was thrown against a tree which passed through uh, Radagast. And uh, once again, they both are now down to one because of the two hits. Gandalf's down on one, and Radgas is down to one wound. We'll go ahead and roll for a priority. Or, yeah, priority. Our initial. Okay, I rolled a three, he rolled a two. Oh, I give so. Up. I give up now. <laughs> I'm going to move I, my character. You, you purposely I'll see you at the end of my game. <laughs> Welcome back folks and we're at the end of fight phase and turn 18 and mm. it has not gone well for the wizards at all. You killed them both. The uh, Goblin King uh, was able to wound uh, Radgast which he failed on his last fate point to get himself back so Radgast Brown is defeated and that means it's the end game so scenario six goes to the evil side so we are even you won three one. and three you won so, one I won two three you won um, wait I won four I won four and then you won five and right. you won six so we are now going to create a uh, epic battle Ultimatrix. using the uh, the models, Thorn and Company, entire Thorn and Company going against the entire Goblin Army and Goblin King and Scribe. So it's definitely going to be an epic battle. Uh, going to probably be several turns. Well, uh, we already agreed a while ago that it'll be fight to the last man. Whoever wins, even if uh, the party's broken or the yeah the party's been broken, they'll still fight on. So it's definitely going to be an epic battle and, no resurrecting and fight goblins. to the finish. Yeah, no resurrecting goblins. We already agreed on that because I'll have the full complement of goblins already. And no objectives. It's just going to be straight out brawl, one, battle each other to the death to see who will win and who will be victorious. So, hope you watched. This long battle was our longest one I think the longest one we've done. Yeah, our lo so, other longest one was 16. Yeah, 16 was the last one, so we beat it by two rounds. I guarantee the next battle will be a big one, and I'll have multiple rounds, especially going to uh, doing it like we are to the last man. So, hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you uh, in next video. Thanks for watching.